matching and shit. Oh, 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 I'm so green. Don't go easy. <laughs> it's 2008. Where? Where were you? Where was I in 2008? When my kids ask me, I'll say in the midst of a debate over the fate of the American future. And I don't know if it's nervousness or the humidity, but I can't breathe. Hmm. But I'm here in my birthplace where I gave birth to my first poem and my first piece. I'm back. I'm back for poets representing every state ready to win to move the landscape. Making conscious verbal choices that bring new voices. I'm back. Fresh high school graduate rocking on the train of thought and I can't breathe. How many great orators rock the mic in D.C.? Historically, how many revolutionaries ripped this territory? It makes me nervous thinking and I can't catch my breath. It's 2008. Where are you? I'm going to Washington, D.C. while watching the TV. I'm supposed to feel like that I'm locked in a dream scene. But honestly, I feel no connection at all. It's just an odyssey that has no direction at all. See, I'm American, but historically, it's not what I inherited. Corrupt wars and lies in my book don't make appearances. As for this presidential stuff, why the bash of the times? All they ever did was pick the whitest black men alive. But I Ooh. guess it's a change. It's not that I hate the country. I just find it vaguely funny. We got patriots running, holding flags when it's only land. At the end of the day, this place is nothing to me. See, I'm American, but also I'm really a bangle. To me, my capital is the city of angels, because it means the most. The Washington, D.C.'s the show. L.A.'s where I breathe and grow, where I dream and flow, where I've been jumped, beat, and choked. Where I chill with homies on a rooftop and breathe in smoke. It's my history, my land of a hundred sores. DC is a great visit, but never nothing more. It's 2008. Where are you? Where am I? I'm reminiscing. My great grandfather made his exit from this world in 2005 at 104 years old. He carried on his memory for 87 years the picture of his brother being lynched in Hope, Arkansas. He never forgot that vivid picture of his brother hanging from a tree like a piece of fruit while cold-hearted blue-eyed devil men picnicked under that very same tree, giving no thought to the team that hung above head as they feasted. The cold feeling of being left in a whole man, according to the Constitution, three, three fifths, fifths to be exact, exact, never left his brown skin. And the sweat stains never quite washed out of his shirts when he dropped out of school in third grade to help bring him money for his family. He could never simply stop and remember laying on his worn handmade quilts at night. Looking up at his humble ceiling, crying out to God, Why do they hate us? When are things going to change? When will you let me show them that the color of my skin ain't got nothing to do with the power of my mind or the size of my heart, Lord, when? Is it coming soon? His faith was old but not gone. People were afraid of change. People are afraid of change. But 2008 stands for achieving what our great-grandparents saw as the impossible. It means that in 2008 we are not still trying to climb out of the deep wounds of history. Yes, we are. It means that the blood from whips, words, and wars is no longer drowning us. Yes, it is. It means that every woman knows that she can do battle by her goddamn self today. Here, yes. now in Washington, D.C. Every poet and onlooker will finally learn the definition of new beginnings. And, and here, here now. now. My great-grandparents as well as yours and theirs are looking down on each of us. Proud as hell. And we haven't forgotten where we come from. And you can fly back home to L.A., Miami, Chicago, wherever the hell you come from, kick up your feet and pretend like it ain't got shit to do with you. But this election is honoring our history. A history more than faded black and white pictures, tombstones, and heirlooms. All of our forefathers will rejoice and know the same hate, prejudice, and fear that kill off most of their population will not murder ours. It's time for a change. I can't catch my breath. I am not convinced. It's, it's 2008. 2008. Where, Where are, are you? you? Oh!